combating nutrition disinformation and general bull. It's Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com. What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live, and we're here with another episode of Jimmy Rants for you today. If you're brand new to Jimmy Rants, then hop on over. If you're watching this on anywhere but Instagram, hop on over to Instagram. I'm at Living Low Carb Man on Instagram. And once you're there, you can watch these live. I tend to do them in the morning time and the afternoon time, Eastern Standard Time, every single day. And what we do here is we rant about some topic in the world of nutritional health. And so it all starts on Instagram Live. So all of my Instagram Livers are down there talking to me in the comment section. So if you see me interacting, that's what I'm doing. It's on the replay on Instagram for 24 hours. Then we pop it over to YouTube where we have a whole channel that houses all of the Jimmy Rants episodes. We're at 40-something episodes now, so building very uh, very fast. And we just released, you guys, the brand new Jimmy Rants podcast, which has highlights of the best of the best moments from these rants. You can get all of this right now. Go and subscribe on my Instagram, on my YouTube channel, or on my iTunes uh, or other podcasts, you can go subscribe right now at jimmyrants.com. Today's Jimmy Rants episode is all about the mind stuff. Because a lot of people, they go into keto and they're all gung-ho about the mechanics of the diet. So they cut their carbs, they moderate their protein, they eat more fat, they try to embrace lots and lots of real whole foods. And so they do all of the right things in their diet and they get into a rut, okay? And a lot of times the rut is just them playing mind games with themselves. And I have seen this, you guys, for a very long time. I get so many emails from people that just pour out their hearts to me. And it's pretty uh, humbling when you stop and think about people entrusting you with this very... Uh, sensitive information about themselves that they are too ashamed to share about it with the world uh, by posting on social media. Some do. So, some share too much. Let's just say that. Some share too much on social media, but others they don't. And they end up getting trapped in their own, own head with all of these feelings of they're not worth it. So even when they start seeing success on a ketogenic diet, so they're losing weight and blood markers are improving and they're coming off of medications and all of these good things are happening for them. But in the back of their mind, they go, I I'm not worth this. And it comes from many years of being told basically that you're not worth it and being devalued as a human being. And guys, I know from whence I speak, I used to weigh 410 pounds, I've lost over 100 pounds of that, have had some weight issues over the years of, of it coming back up from my lowest weight, but I'm still well down from my highest point. And I can tell you, I know for a fact that I was passed over uh, for job promotions. I was never given a chance to go beyond kind of this, this ceiling. I never could get past that. And for the life of me, couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. So I was getting this reinforcement of you're not worth it every single day. And every single time I was denied that ability to move up in the world. And it really wasn't until I went to work for myself and started using the talents and skills that I knew I had that I could actually... Um, make my own journey and and prove to the world that I am worth it and that I can do the things that I thought I could do, uh, that things started moving in the right direction for me. And so if you're one of those people, you're watching this right now and you're like, yeah, I've been doing keto, but I just, I don't think I can really share it. I, who am I? I'm just a nobody. Guess what? We're all nobodies in the grand scheme of things. If you look at it in that way, we're all just living this life. We're all on this journey. And what I want to encourage you with today is you are worth it. Do you believe that? Look into my eyes. 
Do you believe that you are worth it? Because if you don't, you need to stop that right now. And you need to start embracing that you are worth it. You are very special. And you have decided to do something proactive for your health and your weight and whatever other reason why you've changed your diet. You're in the game. I think the people that I feel the saddest for are the people who think they're not worth it and then they're not doing anything. Those are the people that my heart bleeds for on a daily basis. I want them to number one, start caring again and realize that no matter what everybody has told them for so long in their life, they are worth it. Now, some people take this message the wrong way. Oh, it's all touchy-feely and you're worth it, yada, yada, you're special, whatever. And I think when you've been ostracized, when you've been uh, overweight or obese and basically invisible because of that, when you've basically been told to your face that you're nothing, you're garbage, you're a nobody, when you've been told all of those messages, it sticks. It sticks in your head. And I want you to know those are lies from the pit of hell. And you don't believe them because you're worth it. So if you're on your, your keto journey or really any part of your life, you don't even have to be keto for this message to apply to you. If you're in life and you feel like you're one of those people that has never connected um, with others and never felt like what you were giving to the world was being acknowledged and that you simply were not worthy of whatever it is that you're doing. And in, in this case, we're talking about keto. This is the secret to being successful on keto. You've got to start being confident in yourself, confident in what you're doing and who and what you are. And I tell people this often, you are not what you look like on the outside. You are who you are in your character on the inside and the way you live your life and the integrity that you show. All of those things are who and what you are. Not the weight on your body, not anything else that anybody would ever tell you. It's you, the core, the essence of who you are. That's why you're worth it. You're worth it because you're a unique child of God and you're uniquely qualified to bring so many skills and talents to this world. People often say, well, you do your job so well, Jimmy, you're a great podcaster and you write books and I'm just using the skills that I've been blessed with and love doing. And that's all I try to impart to other people is, okay, if you're not a speaker, don't try to do a podcast or come on Instagram Live or YouTube or whatever, but use the skills that you do have. If you like to engage with people and encourage them, do that more. If you like to uh, write, then you need to, be, you need to be writing more. Because at the end of the day, the, the place you find your worth and your value is in what you are good at doing. And so a lot of people, they get so hung up on this. Well, I'm, I'm just inadequate. I'm not worthy. Stop. Today is the first day of a new day in your life where I want you to look in the mirror or look into my eyes right now. And I want you to say it. Say it. I want to hear it out loud. I am worth it. Your turn. Now, I didn't hear you. You got to say it louder. I am worth it. There you go. And if you said that and you meant it, then go out and live it. Go out and do it. And I hope this inspired you that you are worth it. And if you're on a ketogenic approach, then certainly that mantra is going to fix the head part so that that diet part will work right. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. A little bit different Jimmy Rants here for you guys today. Thanks for being here. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, did you talk to Michael on Sunday all day Monday? He repeated your words. Instagram superstar. <laughs> That's funny, Kimberly. She, she came to my book signing on Sunday. Uh, it takes just sharing to one person the only way to change the world. Exactly, Paula. Exactly. This is such a powerful message we all need to hear. You're welcome, Nancy. Thank you for that. Even if you tell yourself that it's the power of the mind. Yes, people 
You can either psych yourself up or psych yourself down with what you tell yourself in your mind. Um, and for many years, I was talking my way down because that's what I was hearing. My own dad actually said that to me that I would never amount to anything. He since well beyond that. But when I was a teenager, he said, you'll never amount to anything. Um, and that was a gut blow. Um, and there were a lot of issues I was dealing with at that point, uh, psychologically dealing with my relationship with my dad. And so all that's good today. But back then, it was just one of those things I never felt worthy. And maybe that's what drove me to be the hard worker that I am now, that I wanted to always try to prove to him that I was worth it and tried to get his approval and worked really, really hard as a result. And so those skills kind of stuck. Maybe, I don't know. Um, all I can control now is who and what I am right now. And right now, uh, I know I'm worthy and I know that I've shown uh, my value to the world no matter what's happened in the past. Even it, 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 Kim says, amen. Thank you, amen. Uh, beautiful word, so true. Thank you, flavors of inspiration. Thank you, Kim. Welcome in, welcome in. George says, keep it simple. Relax and stop uh, shooting yourself. You sh you just do something one step at a time. I love that. Stop shooting. Yeah, I should do this. I should do that. No, do it. Do it right now. And be confident that you're worthy of doing that. When I started the Live in La Vida Low Carb blog, I had just uh, completed my weight loss journey. It was in 2005. 2004 was when I lost the weight. 2005 when I started the blog. And one year later, I started my podcast. I could have had those feelings of, well, who am I to talk about diet? I literally just lost weight and I'm still learning about this. But the way I saw it was, you know what? I have something of value to add to the world. And so I started blogging. And I started podcasting and then I started doing more podcasts and then I got on social media and then I started writing books and then I wrote some more books and and now I'm doing Instagram lives and Jimmy rants here on YouTube. Um, all of these things add up to I'm now confident in what I'm sharing and I'm very comfortable with knowing that I'm worth it and look at all the people's lives that are being changed for the better because I was willing to put aside my fears of not being worthy and now being confident that the information I'm sharing is helping people. I want that for you guys as well. You are worth it. Excellent words of wisdom. I never look at other people and think negative things. Thank you, Barnyard Coffee. A lot of people do though. Uh, just hang out on social media for a little while. You'll see how other people think negative things about other people. <laughs> It's out there in droves. Uh, Grandma does keto, the Jimmy effect. Bravo for this one. As always, because of you, I'm finding my voice. My book is outlined. I'm working on it every day. You and Christine are my inspiration. Well, you do it, girl. I think at the end of the day, if people just got more confidence in themselves and the power of suggestion works for yourself too. And so, as I said earlier, I want you to repeat and repeat it often that you are worth it. Now, when you do that, psychologically, what happens? You get happier. You get more confident. You're able to be more outspoken about what you believe and why you believe it. None of those things are bad, you guys. All of those things are positive signs in the right direction. And so if you tell yourself you are worth it, then you're telling yourself that you're human, that you're able to contribute to this world. And we all have a voice. Um, a lot of people like what I have to say, but there's a lot that don't like what I have to say. That's neither here nor there. I know that what I'm sharing uh, comes from an ability within me of knowing that I'm worth it, that I've been through experiences, that I can share information. And I want you guys to have that same confidence that no matter what comes your way, you are worth it and you're worth doing whatever it takes to be who and what you are. And again, this isn't just about keto, uh, really any part of your life this applies to. But for those of you doing a ketogenic approach, I want you to have this confidence because guess what? This is going to feed into 
when you start eating the right way and you start lowering stress and doing all the things that make keto work, it's going to make keto work so much better. All right, guys, that's all I had to share with you here on this Jimmy Rants. As always, go to JimmyRants.com. And once you're there, you see the way that we do this is we start off on Instagram Live and all my beautiful people down there commenting. Um, so we do these in the morning and the afternoon. Then they're up for 24 hours on Instagram. We then pop over to YouTube and put them on there for you to watch the video. And the all-new Jimmy Rants podcast just debuted on iTunes. Uh, it's going to be assimilating in all of the podcast formats here very soon. It's the best of the best highlights from the Jimmy Rants that you guys get to watch here on Instagram and YouTube. So until next time, we'll see you then.